scam accused has now approached the Scotland Yard to investigate his alleged abduction. Four UK nationals, including Barbara Jabrika, have been accused by Choksi of torturing and kidnapping him. Ashish Ray is joining us from London. He's a well-known journalist, author. He collaborated with the India Today team to put together this exclusive report on the investigation that's now been initiate, initiated by the Scotland Yard. On the 7th of June in London, human rights lawyer Michael Polak lodged a complaint with the British police. He accused four UK residents of abducting and torturing Indian-born Antiguan diamond merchant Mehul Choksi in the Caribbean. 31-year-old Hungarian Barbara Jarabika, who lives in London. 63-year-old Indian Gurmeet Singh, who lives in Birmingham. 50-year-old British Indian Gurjeet Singh Bhandal, who also lives in London. And 45-year-old diplomat of Indian origin from St. Kitts and Nevis, Gurdeep Bath, who lives in London as well. The complaint says Choksi was lured to Jarabik's flat in Antigua, where he was kidnapped and taken on a boat to Dominica. The complaint alleges he was bound and gagged, his head covered with a bag, and also that he was beaten, given electric shocks and threatened with a knife. Supporting the complaint were documents of the four accused travelling together on the same flights from London to the Caribbean and between Antigua and Dominica. Under Britain's universal jurisdiction law, a person who has committed an offence like torture, even if abroad, can be arrested and prosecuted in the UK. On the 8th of June, Edwin R. Callister, Detective Sergeant at Scotland Yard's War Crimes Unit, acknowledged receipt of Michael Polak's complaint. She also confirmed an officer had been put on the case to examine the allegations. Mehul Choksi acquired citizenship of Antigua and Barbuda in 2017. In 2018, he was charged with defrauding the Punjab National Bank to the tune of 13,500 crore rupees. The Indian government has been attempting to extradite Mehul Choksi ever since. At India's request, Interpol issued a red corner notice for his arrest. But as an Antiguan national, he's protected from being deported unless overruled by a court. The final court of appeal for Antigua is the Privy Council in London. Britain's Queen Elizabeth is still the island's head of state. With Ashish Ray in London, Bureau Report, India Today. Ashish Ray now joins us from London. Ashish, what details can you give us about these three nationals? Who are they? What do they do? What kind of credentials do they have in the UK? What have you been able to find out so far? Well, first of all, five people have been named in this allegation which was submitted by Michael Polak, who is a human rights lawyer in London. And it was submitted to Scotland Yard, the war crimes unit, yesterday. And this morning, Scotland Yard has acknowledged receipt. And they've also gone on to say that the matter is being examined. A police officer has been put on the case. Now, who are these five? First of all, there's this Hungarian woman called uh, Barbara Jarabik. That's the correct name. A lot of wrong spellings and pronunciations have been taking place, but her name is, at least in the allegation, in the, in the charge that has been made, it is Barbara Jarabik. And then comes this diplomat from St. Kitts and Nevis. He's of Indian origin. His name is Gurdeep Bath. And then there is, there are the two from Birmingham. One is an Indian national and the other is a British national. The British national is Gurjeet Singh Bhandal and the Indian national is Gurmeet Singh. And there's the fifth mention which is not really an allegation, but this is a travel agency which facilitated Barbara Jarabik's travels. And this is a London agency, and they have also been named in the charge that's been made by Polak to Scotland Yard. So do you know more details about Gurjeet and the others? What do they do? Uh, 
Any details about their background? How did they get involved in this entire matter? Well, it's very interesting. Uh, certainly, there are photographs of them in the Caribbean on a boat, and uh, the allegation is that this was the very boat that uh, took uh, Mehul Choksi from Antigua to Dominica. And they are certainly two of them on the boat, and uh, how they landed up, uh, one doesn't know. But this much I can tell you, that uh, in the month of April, the same duo, they tried to enter Dominica, and they were disallowed from entering Dominica. And there's um, a very clear email which was sent out to all islands in the Caribbean that these two are suspected of human trafficking. But very interestingly, a month later, the same two were allowed entry into Dominica because, again, there is record of them entering from this port, which is known as Portsmouth in Dominica. So that's a very interesting twist in the story as to how this happened, why did this happen, who influenced their entry when only a month earlier they had been uh, disallowed. So these are questions which have come up. And as far as the two of them, they are both in Birmingham. And um, what they do, I'm not aware of. It's not stated in the charge. Uh, but when it comes to the other two, that is Barbara Jarabi, she is listed as a director in a company in London. And uh, as far as Gurdip Bath is concerned, as I said, he's a diplomat. He holds a diplomatic passport, and he's also London-based like Ashish, Barbara. what's the Scotland Yard's initial view on this? What kind of resources have they put on this case? How seriously are they investigating this? What's the Scotland Yard likely to do next? Well, it's a good question, but it's uh, very early to tell. It's only today that they've acknowledged receipt of uh, the report which was sent to them. And one officer we know has been put on the job. How seriously they're taking it? They're bound to take it seriously. There's no doubt about it. This is uh, written. So the police is independent. They will take it seriously. How far it will go, one doesn't know. What I can tell you is the process that's followed in this country. First, if there is a suspicion, the people concerned, the four of them, will become persons of interest. And if there's further evidence, then I think they will go further and uh, charge them or something of that kind or interrogate them. Um, that said, I think it's very interesting that the allegation has been made under what's known as the universal jurisdiction law. And this has been done deliberately because universal jurisdiction means that even if a crime is committed outside the United Kingdom, a person can be hauled up in this country. And this has to be a serious offense, of course, and therefore you will find in the charge that has been made that torture has been repeatedly mentioned. And torture certainly falls into the category of serious crime. And they will, therefore, if they find evidence, be able to charge these four under the universal jurisdiction law. In other words, although the alleged crime took place in the Caribbean, they can be prosecuted in the United Kingdom. Ashish Ray, for those insights and that news break, thank you very much.